Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have a, another mini trifold. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all I ever seem to make these days. Um, I have five more uh, reserve orders in the pipeline and then after that um, that's it. I'm not going to be making um, any more as much as I have loved doing these. Um, I so want to try some one-off journals and I've got uh, loads of projects um, tucked away in my head that are just bursting to come out. So this was um, a reserved order, um, ornithology themed, so bird themed. And as usual, it's... Um, 15 centimetres high by 10.5 centimetres wide, a single signature. There are 26 inclusions, uh, 68 pages. It's stitched and inked on nearest damn it every, every page and the tags because I just love um, stitching. Um, five hole pamphlet stitch down the spine. Um, the closure is a single eyelet and I've used this beautiful, very, very fine um, greys and smoky blue sh um, chiffon sari silk for my closure. And I've also put a charm, which is a double feather charm on the front there, um, which if the lady who's buying this doesn't like then that's absolutely fine because it's just attached with a lobster clasp and um, we'll just unclip and you can take it off as you can see there's loads and loads of this it's almost gossamer um, fine chiffon sari silk isn't that absolutely gorgeous in tones of blue and grey it's lovely um, so I hope um, the lady who's getting this journal likes the colour of that sari silk um, or sari chiffon. So this is the cover, usual thing, um, collage with vintage papers, a couple of fussy cut images and if I just move that out of the way you can see that is the image there. So another chunky monkey I'm afraid, um, she's a little bit stiff at the moment because there's quite a few um, layers of um, gesso, not gesso, sorry, um, range of multi-matte medium. So some fussy cutting and collaging at the front here. Um, pocket at the front, this is a little envelope that I made from book pages, some French book pages, and collaging on the back there. There's a vintage button there, a mother of pearl button, a tiny little feather charm, and then when you go in, some lace trim and I've just put um, some stamps in some glassine envelopes so there's uh, I think there's five in five stamps in each that you might be able to to use in your journals so that just wraps around as usual then there's a Janet Marsh image here with some lace vintage ledger paper and a vintage button and that's layered and stitched onto my page here we have a lace pocket and another little, um, this is a library cabinet card, fussy cut on the back and inside I've just put some vintage um, bird theme book page in there. Try to keep the bulk down this time because my journals just seem to be getting bulkier and bulkier so I've tried to keep it down a little bit this time, didn't really succeed. More Janet Marsh with some stitching around the edges. Journaling spot here. We have a flip out pocket. If I move that across. Vellum pocket with some lace, fussy cut bird image. And then I love doing these acetate tags. And I found this gorgeous, gorgeous feather. I hope you can see that. It's so delicate. Flip that over. There we go. With some remnant rubs just to give it a little bit more interest. And then if I just move it back into shot again, and then in this pocket up here, there's another tag. There we go, stitching around the outside and inked. This off-white 
sari silk tied with some French linen thread and just a little bit of collaging and stamping. So that goes in that pocket up there. And this flips open. Then we have one of my flip up uh, journaling spots with a little bit of collaging at the bottom. And that's magnetised. More collaging. There we go. Let me get it in frame for you. More collaging. There. Whoops, turned over two pages there, have I? Oh yes. So more collaging down this side. Here I've used one of those little Prestud, or I think they're called snaps in America. I think I've just learnt that um, from one of my new subscribers. She mentions um, using snaps um, and thought it was a good idea. So um, perhaps they're called snaps in America. Here in the UK we call them Prestuds. Um, this is glassine pocket that I've stitched the page and then this is a vintage uh, cigarette card and that goes in that pocket. Over the page a journaling spot. Let me see if I can just bring you down a little bit. There we go. I hope that's a bit better for you. Uh, journal layered journaling spot stitched and there's a stamped image of a bird on a branch there on some um, linen. Here I've created a belly band uh, with some collaging. You can use it as a tuck spot if you wanted to under this little piece here. There's an eyelet at the top as you can see with some sari silk and this is the envelope that goes in that um, pocket and there's just a couple of little mini um, playing cards. Um, bird washi tape on the back there and the flap of the envelope just tucks through the belly band and I've used a range of paper clip because I love these things to just hold it gently in place and I'm at a weird angle here so I'm struggling to, <laughs> to put it back on there we go so that just sits there over the page um, I've created a lace pocket and the, if anybody saw my um, Turkish map fold um, tutorial you will have seen this little um, booklet that I made trimmed with lace, stitched, inked and then when you open it up you've got this little bird collage inside and that just sits in the pocket and then the pocket flips open it's just a sticker on the back and this is piano roll paper as you can see which is double thickness and stitched which makes a nice journaling spot on the other side of the page um, this is a wrap around. There we go. If I get it in frame for you, that's one side, and that's the other side. I love these bird images, and a little bit of collaging there. And as I say, that just wraps around this page. This is one of those um, boot shoe and clog repair receipts of mine. When you turn over the page, there is a vintage receipt um, dating to 9th of April 1929. Put a little stamp on it and you have a, a journaling spot there. So I'm just going to pop this back on my page, like so. Um, vintage tea card that I've stitched, um, collaged underneath, a bit of lace and a number. Then some lace at the top there, and this is a journaling spot. So I've put or a little notebook. And there's some collaging with a vintage stamp underneath there. This is some photo paper. And then here I've done a little um, hidey hole. This just opens up, and inside there's a couple of vellum pockets, and this is a vintage. Um, Kodak slide so that just goes in the pocket there and then this ties ties up again and as you can see there's just some little vintage um, book pages that I've made into um, tags this is just a um, bird book page 
with a tea stained rose, a couple more tags and it opens out once and then twice with a little bit of fussy cutting here and a journaling spot. Here we have a tuck spot with a little journaling card and it's got a computer card on the back and one of Tracy Fox's uh, definition labels. And this is layering with some fussy cutting. Over the page more collaging as you can see another sorry I keep on going out of frame today Janet Marsh um, image love her images just wish that there were more in her books <laughs> um, here I've done a little uh, lace snippet four or five layers of vintage lace and this time on the paper clip sorry safety pin rather than putting beads I've actually made a little tassel out of some um, vintage French linen thread so that opens out you have a glassine bag here with some collaging, some eyelash trim, lace, sari silk, um, a French uh, little flashcard, and this is my journaling card. Just plain on the back of this one. It goes in there. A little bit of fussy cutting here. More collaging. In both top and corner. Um, I'm thinking that's Edith Holden, but I'm telling a lie. It isn't. It's more Janet Marsh. That's the bird nest image in her um, her book, which is absolutely lovely. And that's the other part of it. I've used it to marry the two pages in together. Here we have a little glassine um, pocket that I've collaged with some lace, fussy cutting, a little rose. And it's actually got a feather inside. I think you can probably just see the tiny little feather inside. And it opens up, more collaging behind it. And you can actually get into the envelope there or the pocket there to take out the feather if you wish. Some Ranger Vellum. This is a journaling card. And I've just stamped on the back. And this is a side tuck spot. So you can put your card behind there if you wanted to. Or just, as I've done, used a paper clip. Another one of these gorgeous Ranger ones. To just hold it in place if you prefer. And I think I... No, I haven't. Um, I've created a tuck spot up here. Let me show you. There we go. little tuck spot up in there. Um, this is uh, a pocket, side pocket. Then this is one of the Roxy Rachel Creations um, centre pockets. And I love doing this idea, as you've probably seen. Um, the only addition or difference is that I like to put vellum across the bottom because I thought this was such a lovely image. I didn't want to cover it up. But there's a tag in this pocket. These are all simple, very simple tags computer card on the back and then this is a page out of that 1910 Mrs Beaton's good housekeeping um, book that I have and this is luncheon um, household dinners um, I think that's 1901 so that's an example of a uh, luncheon household luncheon dinner menu for 1901 there's another tag in this pocket beautiful images these aren't they and this is just some um, monochrome collaging on the back. Over the page, it's just a flip out journaling spot. Another little tuck spot there with some French flashcards. This is painter's masking paper. More collaging here. Love this little tiny image, if I can get it on screen. Just very delicate. It's not really focusing. Sorry about that. Um, but love it. Another one of the tea cards that I've stitched to the page. Another one here to hide this stitching from this one. Both of them have been stitched onto the page. And then I've done a tiny little tag to go inside behind this owl tea card. 
This is um, a Sizzix or Ranger die cut. And that just flips open and then there's some book pages here and a little journaling spot behind. This is the other part of that um, Janet Marsh bird nest picture and I've just put a, a fussy cut of a bird on the top. Here is one of the lace clusters that I like to do, lace and raw sari silk with a vintage mother of pearl button. This pulls out like so and you've got a bird image in there and some bird information there. Oh, the tags come out. This actually opens up like so, but tucked away in here, and it's just pulled off the page, is this Observer Book of Birds book page journaling spot, if you will. And I've done an eyelet at the top with some lace. It's layered up on the back, and there's a little tiny pocket there with another tea card in. And that just goes on. There's my paper clip. Just goes on there. Here we have another lace pocket with another journaling card with some more collaging on the back. And up in the corner, I've just done a lace tab with some um, vintage ledger paper. Fussy cutting down here. This is a book page flip out for a journaling spot, more lace and collaging there and here. And then here, this is a pocket that's got another card inside with some more monochrome collaging and that fits inside that pocket. And then this opens out and you've got more book pages and more journaling spot there. So it closes one and then two and a bit of vintage lace trim on the edge of it. And more book page, more of that photo paper. A big journaling page here and this is, <laughs> this is a little envelope that I've attached to the page and I've not decorated it at all because it's not really in keeping with the journal but I absolutely loved it and look at this I found it in a stationery shop the other day and it's a couple of little blue tits but I don't know if you can see let me show you can you see they've got like little fluffy bits of tiny bits of fluff for their chest if I can just maybe turn it slightly can you mm, camera's not really picking it up but they're like little tiny pom-poms and I just thought it was so cute. Um, as I say, it's not in keeping with the journal, but I just thought it was so cute that I wanted to include it in. So the lady that's buying this journal, you know, <laughs> you can leave it in or you can take it out as, as you wish. I just thought it was uh, cute. Shall I say that again? It's cute. <laughs> and I just wanted to include it in. <clears throat> so this is a gorgeous, gorgeous image from one of my books. Uh, I fussy cutted it out and popped it on the page because I thought it looked lovely. Oh, I love doing these pockets. Um, lace at the top and then this is French ledger paper. Um, coming to the end of it now, I've used so much of it. And then observe a book page at the back to create the pocket. And then in tucked into the pocket is this Janet Marsh image. So I've done some lace around the eyelet, um, vintage book page there, and some collaging on the back. There we go. And that just goes up in the pocket. And I love the way this scallop of lace, just when you pop it in, just hangs over the top of the page. It just appeals. This is another Janet Marsh image. Can't you tell I love her work? And it's um, it's a pocket. It's got nothing in, but it's trimmed with lace and a bit of um, detail at the side there. It's stitched. When you open it up, it is a genuine vintage receipt from 1938 with some original stamps on. And then when you open it up, 
I've done some more fussy cutting on this page so that you've got fussy cutting and a journaling spot as well. Some um, more collaging at the bottom there. And this is a little tuck spot. There we go. A layered journal journaling spot here. And as you can see, I've stitched around it, in inked it. This is some of that German Bismarck book page. Um, and then I've stitched around the page some Chinese paper, a little bit of washi with some lace at the bottom there, and more of the um, uh, book pages from that bird book that I have. It's a bird spotter's um, book. It's quite good, actually. Uh, I left these in because I just think they're, they're fascinating, actually, some of the information, and it shows what they sing and how they fly and what the juveniles look like. And, um, yeah, very, very good, very interesting. So I've learned a lot, even though I'm not into birds. I've learned a lot by looking at these and trying to choose which one to, to put in. Um, so I've tried to kind of pick out a gentle yellow theme throughout. Um, so I hope that that's worked OK. <laughs> then going over the page, we're into full on blue here. <laughs> so this is a corner tuck spot. And one or two people have asked me what this paper is. And it's Kaisercraft paper from their ornithology collection. It was just an odd sheet of paper that I had that I put on one side to use for my bird journals. So that's what that is. This is an image, just a uh, book page, which I rather liked. And <clears throat> excuse me, I thought the blues and the rusty um, reds went quite well especially with this um, tea card there and this is just a flip out that's edged with lace on that music page and then over the page this is the um, journaling card that I've unclipped again edged with this vintage lace and it's just plain on the back with a little bit of um, vintage book page handwritten and um, uh, it's not book page, it's, um, well it is book page, but it's from um, uh, a French exercise book, that one. And then this is some of my um, ledger paper, and I just thought this could be a journaling spot, but I actually loved the numbers on it, and the the um, font or the um, calligraphy, it's not the font, it's the calligraphy, uh, the penmanship um, of the gentleman or lady that's made these numbers it kind of appealed so I thought that would be nice to include another journaling spot here and then this one is um, a flip over tag so again edged with lace turn over the page whoops if I turn it around that's the collaging inside and then if I turn it over I've tucked in here this lovely book page from a book that I have. This is the uh, Yellow Thirted Verio, and then there's an absolutely lovely piece of prose by John Borman, um, which is absolutely lovely. I won't read it out, but it is lovely, and I hope the lady that um, buys this journal likes that. I just thought it was very touching when I read it. And that just flips over the page like so. And then we have more collaging at the bottom here and layering. Um, there's a definition there for the word buzzard. There's some um, German book end, uh, chapter end pieces there. Some French ledger paper. This is um, an observer book of birds. And you've seen these tags. Everybody does them. And some collaging on the back there. And a tiny, tiny little, where are we, silver bird charm on there. And that actually does flip through to the front. I don't know why it's worked its way around to the back. There we go. It's on the front. That goes in the back pocket. And then, whoops, that's coming off. Um, anybody that saw my tutorial on envelopes the other day will have seen this, this one that I made. And it opens up. There is a tuck spot in there and a pocket inside. And I've put four or five of these 
three, four of these vintage um, cigarette cards inside there for the lady that's getting this journal. So I hope you like the journal. I hope you don't mind yet another flip through. Um, as I say, I've got a few more still in the pipeline to do. Um, but after that, um, that will be it, I'm afraid. Um, I'll get on to doing some single um, uh, single one-off journals. So if I just wrap that up very, very quickly with this. I mean, there's loads of this um, chiffon, so um, it's it would be easy to chop it down if you didn't want um, so much of a wraparound. Okay, everyone, that's my uh, latest journal. Um, I hope you like her, and um, thank you so much for bearing with me yet again as I babble my way through these videos. Love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.